In this video, we're gonna learn how to make a dramatic render using Photoshop. Hi there, I'm Geo. This is Geo Creations. Let's jump right into the video. So before getting into the video, I'm thanking each and everyone who supported for my last video. You guys are really awesome and keep on supporting so that I can make more videos like this in the future. Alright, we're gonna achieve this output in just 5 simple steps. Step number 1, modeling. Step number 2, texturing. Step number 3, matching. Step number 4, highlights and shadows. And last but not least, step number 5, detailing. So let's get into step 1. Here we are in SketchUp. Let's open my reference sketch. I always recommend to start with the sketch so that you won't stuck into any digital constraints. Then you'll figure out the way to achieve it using those softwares. Remember this always, software is just a tool. All that matters is the one behind it. Okay, let me create a base for it. This will be our entrance. Here we just want to make this sketch into 3D. So we don't need to worry about the interior so much. Let's provide some windows. Here I am allocating some areas for greeneries. So we have two entrances now. Let's make another one on the side. Now it's time to build our superstructure. I'm making this ceiling very high. It's around 4 to 7 meters. The varying height should not disturb the users, right? Not only that, it should also give a nice ambience in the interior perspective also, right? That's why I gave a high ceiling here. Let's play with the masses. If you're wondering why I'm keeping all these chunks over here, mm, actually, I use them all. Hit that like button if you want me to cover that in a separate video. Let's aim for 200 likes. Let's move on to the topic. I'm providing a north facing glass facade so that it absorbs more skylight. And the model is done. Okay, let's move on to step number two, which is texturing. I'm giving a base color for each face depending on its shade, so it will be easier when the texture is applied. I'll tell you how just in a while. Here I am using levels to adjust the shade. So let's import the texture and clip that layer with the base layer. Now change the blend mode to multiply. Look here, it takes the shade which we applied earlier from the layer down below. Let's do the same for our superstructure. Don't get mad at the texture, we'll make it right in a little moment. Let's fix the doors. Now it's time to include the background. It's almost looking good. Okay, now it's time to move on to step 3. In this step, we're gonna match the environment with the building. Let's paint some grass over here. To paint a texture, copy the layer which contains the texture, apply mask filter, click on the mask layer and press Ctrl plus I to invert the colors inside the mask, which means turning white into black. So now all the pixels got erased. So now we're gonna paint white in the areas we want the texture to be in. Now I'm cropping the image to 16 is to 9 ratio. Okay, time for placing some greens now. Always remember to adjust the lighting and the hue according to the subject. To do that, Convert the layer into a small object so that you can adjust it later. Now press Ctrl plus L to adjust the levels which basically let you play with the lighting and contrast. And now the hue saturation control panel by pressing Ctrl plus U. Here you can adjust the color of the subject, its saturation and its lightness. Let's fill it with some more trees. I'm fixing some basic level shadows here. 
And speaking of shadows, let's move on to our next step. Step number four, highlights and shadows. First of all, we need to know where the lighting comes from. In our case, it's coming right here. So the shadows should fall in this direction. Lower the opacity and start painting with the brush tool. Let's create shadows for our building. Now I'm going into each face and adding details and shadows on required areas. Thus, it seems more natural. The base is done. Let's fix this tree. I'm converting the building into a small object and taking it into another tab so that I can work with it clearly. Let's fill these triangular areas by using the texture painting method as I mentioned before. Let's match it with the background by adjusting the levels. Here I am giving this glass an orange tint. Let's add some light source from the inside. To do this, dab on the areas you need lights with the brush tool and change the blend mode to overlay. Then copy the same layer and change the blend mode to screen. Play with the opacity to make it feel right. The highlighting and shadows are almost done. Now let's jump into our final step, detailing. In this step, we need to observe each and every part of the subject so that we can know what's the right place to add some more details or we need to tweak some places according to its nature. I've overlaid some greens over these areas. Now it's time to fill those triangular areas with a lot of greens. Now listen carefully. We need to study how the light affects on these objects. This part is the shade, but the light is actually coming directly from the back of the tree. So we need to add some halos on the edges of the trees. Now double click on the layer so that layer style adjustment dialog box will appear. And for this I'm using the outer glow effect. For this tree, we can't use the outer glow effect because the light is coming from the side. So for these areas, we have another technique. Now create a brand new layer. Press Ctrl Alt plus G for clipping it to the layer right below, which is our tree. Now take the color sample of the light, take the brush tool and paint it over the highlights. Now convert the blend mode to color dodge. It's looking a bit awkward, right? But don't worry, we'll fix that real quick. Open the layer style panel and in the blending option, remove the shadows from the underlying layer and press Alt to split it for a smoother transition. Now see how it looks. It's almost done now. I've added some humans to show the proportion of the building. Now it's time for our final touches. Press Alt, Ctrl plus E to merge all layers into a new layer. Convert it into a small object and press Ctrl, Shift plus A to open Adobe Camera Raw or export it into a Lightroom. Tweak it a little bit. Now the picture is almost okay. To dramatize it even more, we can copy this layer and add another preset Let's tweak the levels and play with the opacity till you get satisfied. Now I'm adding a little bit of fog in the foreground for a tiny enhancement. Now our picture is ready. If you haven't watched my last video in which I have rendered it only with the sketch, please go check it out by clicking on the i button. And now share this video to someone finds this useful. Hit that subscribe button and join the community now. Check me out on Instagram, I have linked down in the description. I am always there for you. Signing out for now, until next time, see ya.